So the Raspberry Pi 4 has just been released. Woohoo! But you shouldn't actually buy one just yet, and I'm going to explain why. So stick around, because it's TechWiz time. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TechWiz Time, where I create technology tutorial and review videos. In this video in particular, I'm going to be talking about the Raspberry Pi 4 and why you will probably want to hang off from buying one just for a little bit. Now, I haven't been sponsored by Raspberry Pi or any other foundation or anything like that. It's purely just that I've bought these myself and I've realized, hang on a second, there's a few little quirks that need to be ironed out before the average consumer or even a Raspberry Pi fanatic should go out there and buy one. So I'm gonna talk about those reasons right now. So reason number one is that the Raspberry Pi Foundation have jumped the gun and they've released the Raspbian Buster for the Raspberry Pi 4s. Now, the, the little thing around this is that Buster isn't actually officially released yet. So with that, there are still some bugs and little quirks that need to be worked out. And unfortunately, yeah, there, there are a, a couple of little issues that the Raspberry Pi 4s are facing. One of them being an heat, a heat issue, sorry. And that looks like it's gonna be resolved. They have been working on a firmware update and it's actually, yeah, reduced the heat quite some. Not quite some, I should say. It's reduced the heat quite a lot. So yeah, looking forward to that firmware release. But again, it's not quite out just yet. So you'll have to stick around and wait until that gets released. Okay, the second reason that I've got is that if you're looking at doing any sort of USB booting or anything like that from the Raspberry Pi 4s, unfortunately that's not enabled yet. It is a feature that's coming, but they haven't said when it's coming. So at this stage, that's that's another reason, like if, if you're looking at booting off of a, a USB 3, which is great, I've got to say the USB 3 speeds, um, booting off a USB 3 drive, then unfortunately you won't be able to do that just yet. So you're still stuck with the micro SD card slot for the Raspberry Pi 4s. So it is coming, it's just not quite ready yet. So the third reason is that for those people that are retro gamers, Re uh, RetroPie isn't out yet <laughs> and the forums are getting beat down at the moment because people are looking for, you know, the, the latest RetroPie that'll run with Raspberry Pi 4 and unfortunately, you know, that's the common question whenever something new comes out. Everyone's always on the forum saying, when is this going to be released? When is it out? Is, can I do this? Can I try this? And yeah, unfortunately at the moment, it's just a, a wait and see situation and by the looks of it, it's going to be either RetroPie 4.5 or they might just jump the the points and jump straight to RetroPie 5 for the Raspberry Pi 4. But yeah, don't know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Again, that's another reason why, you know, holding off at this stage is probably a good idea because yeah, it, it's gonna wear off the, the Raspberry Pi 4 shortages. So yeah, just hold on and yeah, we'll see. Okay, the fourth reason is because Unless you're after the official Raspberry Pi cases, at the moment, that's pretty much all there is. Now, in saying that, I'm gonna be releasing a video probably right after this, which is gonna be in regards to some cases that are coming soon that you can pre-order now. So yeah, if you are interested in that, check up in the cards above or in the description below, because I've got some really cool looking cases coming and I think you'll be surprised. I'm, I'm actually really, really, yeah, keen to get a hold of these. So yeah, check that one out soon. And the fifth reason is because some of the USB-C chargers aren't actually capable or yeah, the USB war warts or whatever you want to call them, they're not capable of powering the Raspberry Pi and there've been a few issues. So yeah, unless you're going to go out there and fork out for the Raspberry Pi official USB-C wall ward um, to run these, then you might run into some trouble if you're just using a generic USB-C um, yeah, power adapter. Uh, I do know that the Samsung ones apparently are okay, but then again, your mileage may vary. So yeah, just be aware that if you think you're just gonna power these straight off the bat, then yeah, you might be in for a little bit of a shock because they do require three amps. And that's purely because with the USB 3, 
um, yeah, the increase in power with the Ethernet and so forth, and also the CPU, all those things combined, it does require more power. So moving to that USB-C is going to draw more power. So just be aware of that, unless you want to go out and fork out for the official uh, Raspberry Pi power supply, then that's something else to be aware of. I know the title of this video is five, but I'm going to say uh, 5.1. <laughs> another little reason is the little micro HDMI ports. Now, with the HDMI ports, it used to be a full HDMI. Now with the Raspberry Pi 4, they're the little micro HDMI ports. And unfortunately, unless you've got one of those cables, you're gonna have to go out there and source one. So yeah, make sure you're aware that you're going to need a micro HDMI cable to get this thing to run, unless you're gonna SSH into it or yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna need a micro HDMI cable. So those are my reasons for not necessarily everyone wanting to jump in and buy a Raspberry Pi 4 right now, purely because there are a few little issues and just like with anything new, it always irons itself out in the end, or most of the time anyway. Um, so if you are, yeah, keen to get a Raspberry Pi 4, but you're looking at RetroPie or, you know, you may not have the official USB-C charger, any of those things that I've mentioned in this video, then perhaps wait. I'd, I'd give it at least a, a month, maybe even a couple of months for these things to be ironed out. But yeah, just, just hold off if you're not a super, super keen Raspberry Pi fan. So I really hope you liked that video. Um, it's something a little bit different for this channel. I do do Raspberry Pi, do do. I do do Raspberry Pi videos here occasionally. Um, I'm getting more into the PC tech side of things at the moment. So if Raspberry Pi or PC tech or tech gadgets interest you, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and also yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Um, also, hit the bell notification icon if you want to get notified of new videos when they come out, especially if you are a subscriber, because I've had a few say that they haven't been getting their video notifications. So yeah, make sure you check that bell icon. Um, the other thing as well, if you can share this video out there on social media like uh, Facebook, Reddit or Twitter, it really does help the channel. And yeah, to be honest, it's one of the easiest and the quickest things that you can do to help me out. And I really, really appreciate it. So with all that said, thanks for watching this video and as always, Imagine, Learn, Create.